Tonight, an Eyewitness News exclusive. A vigil is held this evening for a Fresno man who was shot and killed while driving his car this weekend. He's identified as 30-year-old Corey Childers. Officers say he crashed into a nearby home after the shooting at Saginaw Way and 6th Street. CBS 47's Catherine Phillips spoke exclusively with the victim's family. She joins us live at Fresno Police Headquarters. Catherine. Well, Catherine, Corey's family say that he did not deserve this at all. They say he had his whole life ahead of him. Now they're just hoping the suspect involved turns themselves in. It was senseless. And I hope that the people that did this find it in their hearts to come forward to give us closure. Lisa Brandino is begging the suspect in the shooting that killed her 30 year old son, Corey Childress, to turn themselves in to Fresno police. Lieutenant Paul Cervantes says they got two separate calls about this investigation on Sunday afternoon. The first about the shooting itself and the second about a car crashing into a home nearby. He says Childress was driving when he was shot, causing him to crash into the home. While a clear motive hasn't been announced and police haven't identified a suspect, police say Childress and the suspect got into a disagreement before the shooting. We can't speak on the suspect side of the house, but uh, unequivocally, without a doubt, Mr. Childress is not a gang member. However, I can tell you that Mr. Childress was the intended target in this investigation. His sister, Ashley Mendoza, says their whole family is heartbroken, hosting a vigil Monday night. I know that he wouldn't want any of us to hurt like this, but it's so hard. Hoping for healing and searching for answers. And if you know anything, we beg you to please call anything, even if it seems so minute, please call. Now, at this point, the only information that police have released about the suspect was that he was driving a dark colored car. Now, at this point in the year, there's been 10 homicides in the city of Fresno. Fresno police say at this point last year, there had been 20. I'm in Fresno tonight. Kevin Phillips, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.